As we could see in my last video, I was cutting the pieces I need to make Leonardo da Vinci's self-supporting bridge. I have to cut 5 pieces some longer than 90 cm. And I also have to cut 10 pieces some longer than 110 cm. I don't need to cut any notch in these pieces. But I have to cut a notch in both ends in all the long pieces. And I also need to cut a notch in the middle in the long pieces. I will use this whole saw bit. It has the same diameter as the posts. 6 cm. The drill press table is level with these two pallet blocks. So I can put here this piece of plywood. And I will put the wooden posts on the plywood piece, so I can drill them with the holes of it. To set the position of the posts to drill them, I need to put something between the posts and the drill press column. This piece of strip will do the job. I must have some room there so I can put the posts under the bit, so I can drill a third of the diameter of the posts. But when drilling, after I drill all the height of the bit, the top of the bit will hit the posts. So I'll have to remove the wood I have under the bit to keep drilling. But because with this setting I cannot move down the bit as much as necessary, I will also have to use a file to get rid of the wood that will be left in the notches. I could change the setting so the drill could cut until the end of the notches. But then it would be impossible to put the posts under the bit. Then I will screw the strip like this, with some inclination towards the inside of the plywood board. And I want this part of the strip protruding a couple of millimeters the edge of the board, to make sure the strip will be against the drill press column. Like this, the strip is against the metallic column. I use thick clamps to clamp hard the plywood board to the metallic table, making sure they will stay together. Now, among the 110 cm long pieces, I choose the shortest one, and I put it on the plywood board in such a way that the end of the post protrudes between 5 and 6 cm from the holes of it. I wear the ear protection and the safety googles, I hold the post hard against the strip and I drill to make the first notch in that end of the post. When it is impossible to keep drilling, I turn the drill press off and I get rid of the wood that obstructs the bit. In this case, the wood already broke when I drilled it, and I keep drilling. I get rid of the wood I have just cut, and there I have some wood I still have to file. But first I cut that notch in all the 110 cm long posts. So I cut the first notch in one end of those 10 pieces. And now I will file that remaining wood in the notches in the 10 posts. I clamp the posts with the workbench vise. And with a file I get rid of the remaining wood in the notches. Once all them are ready, Before I continue, I need to cut a cylinder with the same diameter as the posts. Mm -hmm. 
this piece will do the job. I insert three nails in one end of the cylinder. And now I remove them. Now I have cut the head of three nails. And I insert them upside down in the holes I made in the cylinder. The tip of the nails must protrude some millimeters. Now I can use them to mark on the plywood board the place where I need to put this cylinder. Now this is the shortest post I have drilled. The first one. With the notch looking down I mark the middle of the post. Now before I have cut the notch in this side. Now I turn the post so the notch looks back. I put the other end of the post between the drill bit and the drill press column. And I move the post until the mark I made in the middle of the post is aligned with the drill bit shaft. There the mark is more or less aligned with the drill bit shaft. And now I hold the post against the strip. And I put the cylinder in the notch. The tip of the nails must look down. And I press to mark the tip of the nails on the plywood. And I number them so I can put it again in the same position. And I drill guide holes in the marks. I remove the nails from the cylinder. And I drill guide holes in the nails holes. Like this it will be easier to insert the screws. Now I turn both the board and the drill press like this. This way I can insert the nails in the guide holes. I insert them until the tip protrudes a couple of millimeters. I fit the tip of the screws in the corresponding holes in the cylinder. And I screw them. Now I put the board on the pallet blocks. And I put one post on the board. I make sure the notch fits around the cylinder. I hold the post hard. And I drill the notch in the middle of the post. I move the notch to the middle of the board. And I file the remaining wood. I fit the new notch around the cylinder. But it looks like this one is a slightly crooked. But I fit it around the cylinder. I hold it hard against the strip and I drill it. Like this I have one notch in each end of the post and both notches are perfectly aligned and I have another notch right in the middle between the notches in the ends of the post. Now I have to do the same in the other 110 cm long posts I have.
Now I measure and I mark 5 cm from the edge of the notches I have in the ends of the posts. And I cut the ends of the posts. Like this all 10 posts will be exactly the same length. Now these are the 5 short pieces, and I choose the shortest one. And I will cut the ends of this piece, and then I will cut the other 4 pieces so all 5 pieces are exactly the same length. Now I set a very simple stop block so I can cut the other 4 pieces to the same length. And I cut the other 4 pieces. Now, just to make them look nice, I sand a bevel in both ends in all 15 posts. And I also use the dig sander to sand the surface of all 15 posts. I apply a protector stain to all the posts and once the stain is dry I can put together the pieces of this Leonardo da Vinci's bridge. I put the second pair of 110cm long posts inside the first ones. I put the third pair inside the second one. I align the fourth pair with the first pair. So like this I have room between the third pair and the fourth pair to put the fifth pair, so I align the fifth pair with the second pair. Thanks for watching, you can find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. If you like my videos don't forget to like and to share them. And thanks for subscribing to my channel.